Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a really exciting video for you because it's the first video I've done since I've cut my hair short. Um, so I am going to be using two different lots of um, Beautyworks hair extensions. If you want 15% off them you can use my code which I'll write here. Um, so I'm going to be doing obviously this big bouncy look and then I'm also going to be doing a shorter look as well for you. So as per usual you can follow my Instagram at Elise Online and see my blog at EliseOnline.com. So that being said let's get started and let's have a look back to when my hair was wet. So what I'm going to do is take down my hair, I've just washed it so I'm now going to dry it. I'm literally just going to dry it um, with a little bit of heat protection spray. Okay, so once this is completely dry, you can then move on to the second part. I'm just going to take my Beauty Works comb and just give it all a brush through. And then I'm just going to section half of it off. So like my other videos that you may have seen, I'm going to use the pin curl technique. Um, but this time I'm just going to use straighteners. So those of you that have straighteners, you can do this look too. So all you need is your straighteners and some of these little bobby pins. Okay, and going around section by section, I'm just going to take a little bit like this. I'm going to straighten it, but as I'm straightening it, I'm going to turn the barrel and twist around as I go. And then once you've done a section, just wrap it up around your fingers. So you create a little loop like that, take your bobby pin and just secure that in place. So work your way around the bottom section and now you take down the second layer and then just take up the top bits again and then repeat this on that section too. Do this last section going backwards. So these last bits, I'm just going to do a slight angle. Okay, so now you've just got to wait for this to set. So while this is setting, you can curl your extension. Okay, so for my long hair look, I'm going to be using these Beauty Works extensions. These are the double hair set. Um, so the 22 inch, and I've got them in colour 46, which is chocolate. There's two full head wefts, um, two mid size wefts, and two face framing wefts in this. And these are the 220 gram set. So there's quite a lot of hair in these. As you can see, look how thick they are down the bottom and everything. They're amazing. You can see here what one piece looks like. And I'm just going to curl these exactly how I curled my hair. literally curl so easily and just twirl it round your fingers and again just use a little clip to clip it close as you can to the weft and then move on section through section of the hair extensions okay so now you can take your little hair bundles that have all been clipped up and you can start applying them into the hair so you will see this will be like really really curly but once it's all brushed out it will look really nice, promise. So I'm going to take down half of it. 
and then take my curly weft pieces and start applying them in. I've just applied the two three bits and then I'm going to apply the four bits. So I'm just going to take down these bits here, just keeping the top row of curls. I can already see the oh my god it's too curly, don't worry, it's all going to come out. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these two side bits around about here. So then I'm just going to take the rest of all the clips out. Obviously, as you can see, it is far too curly at the minute. So what you do, get your Beauty Works brush and start brushing it all through. Okay, so what I like to do at this point is pop on some Beauty Works High Shine Spray. And then again, just keep on brushing. Okay, so that is the look complete for the long hair. How easy was that? So, I'm gonna take you back to the short hair. Okay, so to get to this point on the short hair, all I've done is I've just taken out the pink curls that we did earlier, and I've brushed them through. As you can see, I've brushed them out quite a lot, and that's actually enabled them to sort of drop a little bit, which is exactly what I want for the shorter lip. So for this look, I am going to be using the 16 inch caramel, um, which is number six double weft clip in to give my hair a little bit of extra volume. For this look, I want my hair to be a little bit more choppy and a little bit more messy. So what I'm going to do with these ones is I'm just going to take my um, straighteners again and I'm going to take larger sections of the hair and I'm going to take it at an angle just move it round the straighteners. Now I'm not going to clip it this time because I want it to be a little bit more choppy. So like, and again by taking larger sections it's going to mean that the hair is not going to be as curly. You should have a weft that looks something like that and just continue to do that to all of the weft. So I'm just going to separate my hair Apply the first weft in. See, that's a really good length for my hair. I'm just going to pop the next one in now. I've got a little bit of hair in between the two layers. Go on a little bit further up. Then you can use the final weft here. see here you get a really nice thick voluminous sort of shorter hair look. I'm going to do with this one is I just want to rough it up a bit so I'm going to use some sort of um, plumping powder on the root. Just rub that all in and there you go that's the short hair look. Now the difference with this one the reason why I let it just fall out a little bit and have it not as curly is because it's shorter it's going to look that much wider so it is important that you do have to let it drop out and that's why it's a different sort of process with putting them in so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and if anybody's got any other ideas or videos that you'd like to see then please let me know